and who knows you might love it like the way I do now hey guys all right so I'm really looking forward to this one because not only is this a brand that I haven't worked on before, but this is also a type of puzzle that I haven't worked on in quite a while. And the type of puzzle I'm talking about is a wooden puzzle. And I think the last one that I worked on was, oh, was it the Wentworth puzzle? I think that's what it was. And like all the wooden puzzles that I've done so far up to this point, I mean, they've just all been fantastic. And as most of you know, in the past, you know, wooden puzzles was something that I was actually afraid to get into because, you know, all those wacky shapes and whatnot. But the more I worked on them, the more I just, I just started to love them. I enjoy them so much. So quick backstory. I got an email from a company recently asking me to try one of their puzzles. And I was like, you know, like always, uh, yeah, send me whatever you want. Then they were like, you know, that's awesome. Pick whatever you want. And I was like, okay. And I went to their website and the puzzle that I picked, oh my goodness, this is beautiful. It is called Yin Yang Phoenix 2. It is 300 pieces and it is 13.3 by 13.3 inches when it's completed. The back of the box does have some information on this particular brand, which I'm assuming is actually Woodbest, Creative Wooden Puzzles. The company that emailed me and, you know, the website that I visited was called Kai, 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 oh God, I think I butchered that. Please don't fire me. But anyways, their selection was absolutely amazing. And this is the large size puzzle. If you look on their website on the different uh, puzzle selections, each one does have three different sizes. They're small, medium, and large, which is great, you know, if you're looking to do a quickie puzzle or, you know, a much longer, more intricate one. They are made of natural base wood. It's an HD UV printed image with a surface coating that could prevent water stains and scratches. That's interesting. But aside from that, I have to say, I absolutely love the packaging of this puzzle because the box itself is actually made out of wood. It's nice and solid. It has a beautiful printed image on the front. Now, you're probably thinking, you know, why didn't you choose a landscape? I think there were a couple of landscape images there, but I mean, this image like completely captivated me because for one, my favorite mythical creature is the phoenix. I actually have a phoenix tattooed on my back. It, it was actually my very first tattoo. So you know, as soon as, as soon as I saw this image, I was like, this is the one. And they did have other phoenix images as well. But I mean, I love the fact how this one had two of them in it. And I just love the overall shape and the colors. The colors are amazing here. I almost feel like this image is going to be more challenging than the other wooden puzzles that I've done. Because, you know, when you look at this, you've got a lot of the same thing going on, really. You have a lot of the same looking feathers and whatnot. I don't know. I feel like this is going to be tricky. But either way, I'm sure it's going to look absolutely fantastic when it's all done. I'm really hoping, you know, that I get my wooden puzzle juices flowing again. And, you know, this doesn't end up making me want to pull my hair out at some point. But anyways, guys, enough of this talk. I, I really want to open this box and see what, what this whole setup looks like in general so you know what i'm gonna shut up now and you know let's just get busy all right let's open this up now these do come in a plastic wrap to help protect the box itself so let's get this opened Ooh, has a nice woody smell to it which is always nice that's one of my favorite things about wooden puzzles but anyways let me oh they just pop it just pops up i was trying to figure out how to open it Ooh, this is a nice print on this wooden piece here. This is nice. Ooh, look at that. Very fancy. Oh. Oh, I like. Ooh. Oh, wow, guys. I really like this presentation. This is actually quite fancy looking. Let's check out these pieces, though. Oh, check this out. It comes with a little easel. Oh, actually, now that I think about it, maybe it's for this. But anyways, let's check out these pieces. Now, as I said, I love this presentation. It comes with like a little linen cloth here, all wrapped up beautifully. And let's take a look at this print. Oh, here we go with our wacky shapes. This is fun. I absolutely love wooden puzzles. It's a different level of excitement here. Look, is that a bird? 
But anyways, check out this print. I'm hoping this is picking up on the camera, but this print is really beautiful. The colors are very sharp and vibrant. I'm trying to see if it kind of resembles the same color tones and sharpness as the image on the, um, the lid here. But then again, I'm pretty sure that, you know, this is a smaller image, so it's a little bit more sharper. You know, when images get blown up to the actual puzzle size, you know, it's not going to be usually as sharp as you would think. But so far, this is looking very promising. Look at the feathers on this one. Those are some pretty sharp outlines there. I think we're in for some good stuff here, guys. This is very exciting. Check that print out as well. And one thing I notice as well with this is that I'm really not getting really much glare which is really interesting because it's daytime right now i have a lot of light coming through my window and i have a light above me on this side as well and i'm really not getting any major glare issues here even with this dark piece it's not really reflecting much which is exciting because you know glare could be a pain in the you know what but i guess we'll know more about that as we puzzle through this and let's look at this thickness and strength. You know, it's wood, so it's going to be fairly solid. But, you know, there's no bending action here. There's no weakness. We got a nice, nice size piece. We got great wacky shapes. Overall, I'm not finding extremely small pieces. So far, that's the smallest piece I found. And that looks like, you know, your typical jigsaw puzzle piece size. Oh, look, a phoenix! Sorry, I cut myself off there, but I got excited when I saw this. This is, this is, I, I can't wait. You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to stop now because I really want to get into this and I want to see this completed. So you know what, guys? Let's move on. All right, this sort didn't take me very long. I didn't make it too complicated for myself. I kind of just put it in a way where, you know, basically what made most sense to me in terms of how everything looked in the image. If that even made sense, I don't even know what I just said. But anyways, I have one pile here for pieces that I felt are the edge pieces and we don't have a clear edge piece here. This is a rounded image with, you know, different things going on here and there. It's not a perfect circle, but I kind of followed this beaded pattern around the image then over here i let me see maybe i should probably go this way to make more sense because it kind of like flows into each other these are very light pieces and probably they're most likely up from this phoenix right here and part of this area as well it's, it's very light it's like light blues light oranges then we move on here to the dark full orange pieces here which is of course is going to be this orange phoenix and then it kind of moves on here with the same detail from this pile but it's starting to get to the to blues so basically this area around here basically i'm gonna call it the sky we'll just say it like that the blue sky so it's orange blue sky then these are mainly sky pieces with some orange and whites and here and there then we move on to these pieces here that kind of have some sky but it's a mix between the orange and the white phoenix so probably going to be like these areas here and, and some of this as well in that area it's this was tricky to figure out how to go about sorting it so this is not this is not perfect of course there's no way you can get this done perfectly i mean if there is let me know but i kind of doubt it but anyways but then we move on to this area here which is a bunch of white and blue and it's from this whole area at least i'm assuming it is but you know i think i think you guys can kind of get what i did here now that i'm going through this i'm hoping that i can figure out a good way to kind of word it out when you know you see that little box pop up in one of these corners here describing my sorting piles but i hope you guys have a pretty good idea from my explanation which you know probably not because i'm not very good at explaining things but anyways let's move on because I'm, I'm really excited about this i love this image so let's continue and as i mentioned earlier it's not an image i would typically pick i'm more of a landscape scenery kind of puzzler but it's nice to try new things every once in a while the website did have a few landscape images but mostly animals and even some food mm. 
So if you're into those kinds of puzzle images, I'll make sure to leave a link to their website down below so that you can check it out. And if you decide to pick anything up, I'll also have a discount code for you to use to save some extra bucks. But anyways, as I was fumbling my way through the pieces, I was already starting to get a sense that this was probably going to be the hardest wooden puzzle I've ever worked on. There's a lot going on here, and I knew I would need to figure out different ways to push through it. So I feel like I've gotten most of the edge done here. Um, I'm still trying to figure out where this goes in, in this image. I think it goes here, but I, I feel like I'm, I'm struggling trying to figure out those, these pieces that connect together here. One of these um, does have a little bit of damage. The little corner piece of it kind of chipped off. So I'm doing my best to kind of not move this area too much so that it stays in place. I'm trying to work on little sections throughout my mess that I have here, I guess you can say. But I feel like, you know, a little bit more extra resorting will probably help me get through this a little quicker. So yeah, um, let's see how much longer this is gonna take me. All right, let's continue. Overall, I found the challenge level to feel very back and forth, if, if that makes any sense. But what I mean is, is that I had instances where I felt like I was beasting through sections and instances where my mind would just go blank. And to be honest, I like it when my puzzles do that. I don't really consider myself a fan of puzzle images that are too easy or that are very quick to put together. But then again, I'm not a fan of images that make me want to pull my hair out either. I much prefer having a good balance between the two. And when you think about it, challenge level can really depend on the image and or the piece count because you can have a very basic image that looks easy to piece together, but then you also must factor in the piece count. And really the higher the piece count, the more difficult any image can be. Heck, at that point, piece size will then start to play a role in that as well. Because for the most part, the higher the piece count, the smaller the piece size will be. Then if you really want to go crazy thinking about the challenge level, you got to consider the piece shapes as well. Now I feel like I'm rambling nonsense, but what I'm trying to get at here is that there are a few things to consider when you're trying to figure out how challenging a puzzle might be for you. And if you're new to the puzzling world and wanting to start your own puzzle journey or have had just a few adventures so far, take into consideration the piece count, the size, the shape, and of course the image. All these things make up the overall challenge level for a puzzle, at least to me. But let me know down below your thoughts on this. Do you agree? And is there anything that you feel is a big part of that? I like to invest in puzzles that I know will give me a good challenge. And when those challenges come, it gets the gears grinding in my head for different ways and methods to push through them. Well, this has turned from very challenging to very, very fun. I mean, it's still challenging, I'm not gonna lie. But now that I have less pieces on the board, I mean, it kind of looks like that. I, I have a big mess here. But now that I have less pieces, it's starting to know, you know, I'm, I'm getting in the, I've gotten in the groove of it. Overall, you know, I'm struggling with, I guess you can say the fit or the hold because it's, you know, if you kind of move it the wrong way or you move it too beastly, you know, it's it, the pieces are going to kind of come apart a little bit, but not excessive. Obviously, you know, the more you put in place, the more it holds together. That seems to be the overall common thing with these wooden puzzles and wacky shapes and whatnot. But anyways, um, yeah, again, I, I don't have much left on the board here. We got fantastic progress, fantastic image, and I am super excited to get this done. So I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna clean this up a little bit, take the pieces out from the inside here because I'm noticing I'm having to move things around a lot, but I'm gonna do a quick resort because everything is everywhere because it's getting at the point now where it's gonna be super challenging because we have all those feathers that we gotta do. So let's move on. All right, I've gotten pretty stuck right now, just as expected. But I figured, you know what? Let me try doing something a little different here in terms of, I guess you could say, sorting these pieces. And I figured, let me try sorting this by shape. 
And I know what you're probably thinking, how the heck would you sort this by shape when this is, this, these are wacky pieces. There's none of these pieces look the same. So what I did was I've noticed several things with some of these pieces and I guess you can say they kind of have little characteristics to them. So for example, this is what I did so far. I've only done like the, the right side for the sorting so far. I still have a, a tray of RNG pieces here. So what I mean by sorting by shape is, let's see, for example here, there you go. You can kind of see like the shape of the heart there. And this one has it as well. Let's flip it. We got two hearts here, one here and one there. And then over here, we kind of have like kind of these little, I'm going to call these hands. They look like hands, you know, something like, like that. It's a hand. So I have those pieces over here and I have the ones that take the hand pieces right next to it. Oh, this is what I mean. See, it's, it accepts the hand there. And then over here, what I did was take pieces that had kind of like that spiral. And the spirals, you know, kind of, they accept themselves. They, they take each other. So I have those there. And then over here, the same thing. But this kind of like, I mean, I don't know what kind of shape you call that. It looks like a, like a spill. I'm going to call this a spill. You know, like you spill drinks on the floor. You know, it's like splatter. That's the word. And this one is, oh, that's the actual splatter itself. So I know that this is gonna go with one of those pieces here. But anyways, I, I hope you actually understand what I'm trying to say here. I, I don't even know if I made any sense whatsoever, but I hope you understand the, the system that I came up with here. And if so, I hopefully you can try it out and hopefully it will actually help you if you get stuck in a situation like this. But anyways, guys, I feel really good about what I've done here. So let's see if we can push forward with this. All right, let's continue. Yeah, guys, uh, don't don't try moving this too much. Don't don't be a beast. Be gentle because look what I just done. Uh, I gotta try to fix this now. All right, it's not it, it's not crazy. It's fine. We we can we can fix this. I'll just make sure not to try to move it or shove it with the tray again. That was silly of me. But anyways, um, yeah, let's move on. And it really was a quick fix. I had to carefully move over some areas of the puzzle because some pieces got lost underneath it. But anyways, after the repairs, it didn't take me much longer to finally finish piecing this together. And what a beauty it was. This puzzle took me about five and a half hours to complete. It felt like it was actually less than that, but that's okay. There was no rush to finish this. I mean, it's not like I ever rushed to finish a puzzle, but anyways, what did I think to the overall quality and experience of this new to me wooden puzzle brand? All right, so let's go over the pros real quick. I for sure thought this print was fantastic. The colors were bright, they were vibrant. The image was sharp. It was such a good print. And what made it even better was that I didn't really suffer with glare issues. It had such a nice finish to it. There was just enough gloss to make the colors pop but not enough to blind you, you know, when you have the light flashing on it. Now, in regards to the cons, I did find the fit to be a little loose. It, it wasn't a good hold. Now, was it absolutely terrible that I would never work on them again? No, that's not what I'm trying to say here. I do wish it was a little better, but then again, I, I can't complain. It was way better still compared to the Timu sets that I first tried. But of course, not as good as a Wentworth or a Liberty Puzzles hold. Those are some super top-notch stuff. And speaking of the other puzzle brands, I mean, you know I had to go grab the calipers and see what kind of puzzle thickness I was dealing with here. And the puzzle pieces from this brand are actually thinner than the Timu sets, which is surprising really. But of course, again, not as thick as a Wentworth or a Liberty puzzle. But really, the kind of experience you're gonna get from a Wood Best puzzle from Kai is it's pretty decent for what you pay for. And they do range from about $15 to $50. And that's also dependent on the size of the puzzle image that you get. Which to me, honestly, for a wooden puzzle with wacky shapes, like, you know, if you really want a wooden puzzle experience, I don't consider that very expensive. 
Because let's be honest here, I can't I can't go buying Liberty puzzles or Wentworth puzzles whenever I feel like it. I mean, th there's just no way in my budget. I feel like this is a great budget-friendly wooden puzzle experience, especially if you're looking to, you know, get more into it, but you don't want to, you know, get a cheapy set. You want to get something that, you know, has a little bit more substance to it than, of course, you know, your Timu sets or any other cheap wooden puzzle sets that are out there. So if any of you are interested in looking more into this company and this brand, and you wanna pick up a set for yourself or two, I'm gonna make sure the link is down below so that you can check it out. And if you feel like the wacky shapes are gonna be too much for you, that's okay. I still say, you know, try with the small set, give it a shot, and who knows, you might love it like the way I do now. Looking at the puzzle now, I still can't believe how into wooden puzzles I've become. I absolutely love them. I find them to be so much fun. They're so exciting, which is, you know, makes it even funnier to me because they, they were something that I completely feared in the past. But I do know that there are other wooden puzzle brands out there that I need to try. And who knows, maybe one of them will end up, you know, bringing my fears back. Who knows? We shall see, right? But if you're looking for a place to share your very own puzzling experiences with other puzzlers and myself, I do have a puzzling community that you can join and I'm going to leave that link down below as well so that you can check it out. And if you want to hear what I have to say about other puzzle brands out there, be sure to subscribe. But anyways, guys, I realize I haven't even started my next puzzle yet. So I really need to get a move on with that now because once again, I am behind on filming and editing. So I hope you are all doing well. Thank you all so much for your support and I will see you in the next one.